open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports. First page brought to you by Kaufman and Lind Injury Attorneys. Boy, uh, Eagles kind of let one slip through their fingertips literally last night, dog. I'll say, and who says Kirk Cousins is <laughs> over the hill? Huh? That's what they were talking about last week when the Falcons had that awful opener. Kirk Cousins coming off the torn Achilles, 10 and the guys over the hill. Well, he didn't look over the hill last night. He drove the uh, Falcons down the field with just, what was there, like a minute? 30 something left when they took over takes him down the field scores the game winning touchdown on a seven yard pass to drake london who's on my fantasy team by the way <laughs> as the as the falcons beat the eagles 22 to 21 as you mentioned yeah the, the game did slip through the eagles hand saquon barkley wow he dropped a short, easy pass near the goal line that would have earned the game ceiling first down. Instead, on the drop pass, the clock stopped with 146 left. That forced the Eagles to settle for a field goal. That gave Cousins plenty of time to take his team down the field for the game winning touchdown. Dog, did you watch any of that game last night? Because I'm telling you, the first half was just a snooze fest. I, 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 had, I had to turn it off, it was boring. You want to know why I was watching that game last night? This is not going to interest Lynch at all. <laughs> fantasy. I had Kyle Pitts on my fantasy team. All I needed him to do, all I needed him to do was score six points last night, and I win my game. Six points. And he did. You know what he got? Five. Uh. Five. <laughs> he had his usual stat line of like two catches for 17 yards. I don't even remember what his stats were, but it wasn't enough for me to get the fantasy win. Oh, so. man. Uh, other NFL news, by the way, uh, Bryce Young. No oh boy. <laughs> num- number one overall draft pick, um, what was it, 2023, two years ago. He's now been benched in favor of the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton. <laughs> I didn't even know Andy Dalton was still in the league. But, yes, Andy Dalton is the new starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. So the number one overall pick from two years ago is on the bench now. He's been absolutely abysmal. I think you could probably call him a bust now. I mean, you you look at what he's done. He's two and sixteen as a starter. Um, the the Panthers gave up a lot of, of capital to move up in the draft to get him. I think they gave up four for uh, four four picks. Uh, wide receiver DJ Moore, and yeah, they move up to get him, and he's been absolutely abysmal. To, to be to be fair, they've got more issues than just the quarterback position. They oh, stink. Oh, no, no question, <laughs> yeah. no question. It's sort of like Florida State. I mean, up in up in Tallahassee, the the fans and the media are saying you need to bench DJ Uyunglele and and put in Brock Glenn, the backup quarterback. <laughs> You go go look at Florida State. Their their receivers are dropping passes at a rate high, almost as high as anybody in the country. They can't run the ball. They're last in the power four in running the ball. I think they're averaging like one point four yards per carry. Um, yeah. So you're right. There are extenuating circumstances, but I I, I think they're going to have to bench a DJU just like the uh, Panthers benched um, Bryce Young. And for so. FSU. Uh, Everybody's, you know, so hard on that coach. And whatever. Don't forget last year before they lost a good amount of players, they were undefeated. So you might want to back down a little bit. That's that's my opinion, one hundred percent. And I'm, you know, I root for the Knowles, but just just put here's it out the there. only issue I have with what FSU. Yeah, obviously Mike Norvell had a great season last year, but did FSU really have to give him? An eight-year extension. Well, they didn't want Alabama to take him, uh-huh. Bulldog. Eight-year <laughs> extension at almost eleven million dollars a year, and and again, I hope and I think FSU will get it turned around maybe next year. But if they don't, if they don't, you know what everybody's going to be doing next year. If they have another bad year next year, oh, he's on the hot seat. Got to get rid of him. 
That's that's what's going to happen, and now it's going to cost you. I think his buyout is sixty five million now. So so, yeah. let, so let me ask you this. Obviously, mm-hmm. you just went through all the uh, reasons. There's more reasons, obviously, than the coach. But uh, let, let's just say that that extension wasn't in place, and there wasn't this sixty five. I say at own three, he's already gone. If they if that wasn't a, a factor right now, no, I don't think. I, no. Oh, I do. I do. these oh, fans after going thirteen and zero last these year. These fa- look, the, he obviously didn't replace using the portal the key pieces with uh, wise choices. That that's my right. opinion, and I don't have a dog in this hunt. God, okay, I'd... but you, you say these fans. I mean, the the fans we're talking about on you know the the social media mob out there. I don't. I, I think there are a lot of logical thinking fans out there or at least some so you know like billy napier i i I do think he's gonna be gone by the way he was asked yesterday if he's been told anything about his future moving forward and he insists he hasn't been told anything and he does think there's a path for him to come back next year i don't know if there is a path because as you just mentioned the fans i think the fans have given up on this guy so i don't know if his job can be saved but I, i don't think I don't think Mike Norvell would be fired even if he didn't have the buyout. I do I, I don't understand though why these why these colleges continue to sign their coaches to these long term deals. Why? Same as the portal. They want to keep them like they want to keep their players. I'm yeah. glad I'm not coaching with this NIL and portal stuff. They're they're in a oh, Pat, you said it about FSU's coach. So you're like, oh well, he didn't do what he should have done with the portal. I would hate it. I'd be. I'd have a belly ache every day. Could you imagine, oh, Bulldog? Could you imagine if there was a coaching portal? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't you wait. It's coming. It's coming, boys. It should be actually. Uh, it's hey. coming. Um, I did read something. Speaking of, uh, and it, I'm going to give a Gator fan credit for this because uh, I look. I root for the Canes, so obviously I'm feeling pretty good right now, but I'm not going to get cocky just yet because I haven't played anybody. Um, th- th- a Gator fan suggested, hey, why doesn't Florida approach this like an NFL style and hire more or less a GM to make personnel decisions and free of the coach up to coach? You know, with because that that's the model that we have now. This this in and out constant transfers and having to compensate players. I, there might be something to I, that. I think they should hire a GM to hire the just like the NFL does. Right, Let the GM hire the coach. Right, let the GM you know deal with the player with the person. personnel. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what the rumor is? What's that? The rumor is that the Gators may bring back Urban Meyer as the GM, as you just mentioned. As the GM, and then Urban Meyer will make a play to go get Ryan Day from Ohio State, his old pro. Nothing would surprise. Room. Nothing would surprise these days, <laughs> right, guys? And they could have him like counseling. Hoping anyway, so. They could have him counseling the kids like he was doing at that other school for <laughs> yeah. a week or two. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi, host of Open Mic on AM 740 and FM 96.9. The game takes time out of his show weekday mornings to join us here for the sports page on JRR. Brought to you by Kaufman and Lind. Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Coppin every Saturday morning, 7.30 on FM 96.9 The Game. You can catch extended versions by searching for Under Oath with Jeff Coppin on your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh. Lynch and Taco on